Well, good morning, sweeties. It's early. I'm up in Adam early. Guess what? Another doctor's appointment. This is my six week hip replacement. And of course, they usually do an x ray. a shake for breakfast this morning so I'm trying to make sure I don't spill it anyway they do a hip x-ray I believe I'll have a hip x-ray and um, kind of see how it's healing and I'll probably end up with four to six weeks more physical therapy um, do I need it yeah, yeah I do um, and they'll probably leave that up to me it just depends on my doctor's uh, medical opinion then um, used to the days being warm and so when you wake up and you find out that it's not out of the 50s I'm like forget it I'm not going nowhere so I figure you know what I have to go out today and I might as well bundle everything that I need to do today um, I do need to go to Walmart I need to go to Dollar Tree so guess what you guys get to come along with me on a couple of uh, shopping excursions I'm gonna stop and get me some fuel because I haven't had gas in my car for almost two weeks. Um, and then I also have to go for an echocardiogram, which is something I have done routinely every other year to make sure that my heart is functioning properly. And um, then that's it. After that, we can have some fun, y'all. I will check back in with y'all later when I get to um, Walmart or Dollar Tree because I know y'all don't want to see me have a echocardiogram or visit with my orthopedic specialist. Well, y'all just left my orthopedic doctor's office. My x-ray looked good. My post uh, hip replacement x-ray, everything is healing where it should be. All the parts are in place. We did decide to go ahead and do another four weeks of physical therapy twice a week because I still feel like there's some weakness but he said there's nothing that I can't do just let pain be my guide the um, low back pain that I started experiencing about three weeks ago he said expect to have that discomfort for about 90 days but other than that y'all right now clean bill of health so on to the next appointment y'all so this is real chat before I go into my next appointment <clears throat> if you're told you need to have surgery y'all don't be discouraged um me, I go by quality of life. If they tell me I need to have something fixed or operated on, it means it's going to make my quality of life better, I'm all for it. And I know that's, you know, different for everyone. But if you are living in pain and you know it's something that can be fixed with surgery, don't live in pain, y'all. Don't do it because there are certain surgeries when they say they need to be done. If you don't get them done, you really do deteriorate. Hey, y'all. Pay attention to your bodies, and if you're living in pain and it's something that can be fixed with, you know, a surgery, go for it, y'all. But but don't be discouraged. Different. Have I had complications after surgery before? Of course I have. So does that make me think twice about various surgeries? Yes, but you know what, y'all? I give it to the Lord in prayer and let him do what he does best. But at the end of the day, I want a better quality of life and so if that means once again that I have to have you know a knee replaced or hip replaced or something I'm gonna do it because I know what it's like to live in pain to not be able to do a lot of things that I once did because you know I'm not choosing to fix my body done with that so I am ready to get on with the rest of my day, the fun part. Let's go do a little shopping. I think I'll stop at Dollar Tree first. And now the fun begins. I'm at Dollar Tree. I've got some things I need to pick up in here. And you know me, y'all. I'm always nosy.
Well, I think I've got everything that I needed. So hopefully I don't forget anything. I'm going to check my list though before I check out just to make sure I don't forget anything. So I checked my list. I've got everything on my list and then other things that were on my mind when I got in here. So I am ready to get out of Dollar Tree and move on down the road to my next stop. Okay, y'all. I am heading to Walmart now, finally. Y'all, I tell you, I'm moving a lot slower. I could have zipped through Dollar Tree in about 20 minutes. You know, I have to stop and read cards because I got graduation cards and Mother's Day cards. But even stopping to read cards, y'all, I could have been out of there in about 20 minutes. But I'm pushing the basket, you know, and trying to keep my balance. And, but um, I tell you, I am pooped, y'all, battling pain again. It's been six weeks, but it takes six months to a year for your body really to return to its normal state after you've had any kind of major surgery. And the healing process, like my incision is healed, but it takes just that long. And so, like y'all now, I have been up since 6.30. I haven't been sleeping good at night because of this pain, and I'm exhausted. So I'm running here in Walmart, I'm not gonna run. I'm gonna go in here in Walmart and get what I need. Hopefully it won't take me long, y'all. You know, I gotta check clearance. But uh, go in here and get what I need, and hopefully I will be out of here by 12.30 or at least one o'clock. All I took this morning for pain, I just took some arthritis Tylenol because I can't take any narcotics when you're driving, and I wouldn't think of that anyway, y'all. Um, so hopefully I'll go in here and get what I need in Walmart and uh, get on home. And of course, I'm going to bring y'all along with me because I know y'all know and y'all want to see what, what's going on and and um, see what I'm getting. So I'll try to do this haul when I get home. And then that way, I get things put away.
Well, y'all, I got everything that I needed in Walmart. So I am going home, y'all. I am pooped, burnout, ready to get somewhere and uh, be still for a minute. I will go ahead and do my haul so that you guys can see the things that I picked up. And then I'm going to quiet down for a minute and I probably will not uh, have any more content until the white gala. Okay, y'all, made it back home. Took me a little breather and we'll go ahead and get this haul done so I can go take a chill pill. We'll start with our uh, Dollar Tree haul first. Let's see here, y'all, I've got so much stuff here. More, mostly big boxes, not a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, but um, so, you know, it's graduation time, Mother's Day. I've made sure I got all of my cards, birthday cards, all of my cards here. I can't show them to you because, again, people watch my my uh, channel and, you know, I don't want to give anything away. Um, it's funny how in this house, you don't get enough of these pork rinds, y'all, and then when you get them, they go like crazy. So I picked up, the grands like them, and of course my husband liked them, so we got these. there for now um of course y'all like i said i always gotta have snacks i buy these because they're like a dollar 25 you get 10 packs and they're actually really good these are like the the berry grams berry grams or whatever but yeah i buy them quite often everybody likes them you know the older the younger and so that's that y'all i hope and pray i hope and pray that when i go to edit this i am right in the middle because People say turn your camera um, vertical or horizontal, but y'all, I, I tried that and I think that's where we messed up at. So I'm gonna do what I know how to do. That's that's all there is to it. Um, so I had never tried these before, y'all, because I don't like them if they're hard. But my granddaughter let me taste some uh, weeks back, and they were actually pretty good. So. About you know what they don't have any carbs in them y'all remember that if you're trying to do low carb skins you can't go wrong with them but anyway they don't have carbs in them so I figured this is a pretty decent little snack and protein wise it's eight grams of protein for a half ounce serving or a half ounce um, serving size so anyway like I said good good source of protein too uh, and I got two bags I got two bags of those so we got some shower gel. My husband has the good stuff from um, Bath and Body, but he likes to stretch with this because he doesn't want to use his good stuff. So we got him some of that. I have a gift that I need to rewrap. And so when I went to the um, Dillard's Clearance Sunday, I didn't get a chance to show you guys, but I purchased um, a couple of outfits because their children's clothes, baby clothes are really inexpensive. Y'all, I got like two outfits for under 20 bucks, nice ones too. We're talking about Dillard's. Um, so they're for my uh, bonus gram. And so I went ahead and got another bag and some tissue paper to rewrap that because the bag I have is too big and I'm out of tissue paper. I got some more of these uh, gloves to um, clean with in my bathroom. I like these little cups. I think you guys have seen me do with these before. Good for like mouthwash. And the grand choose them too. And then y'all, we've talked about this before too. You know how it, women, gotta keep yourself fresh. Um, we go through quite a bit of plastic around here between gatherings and then ice cream and things like that. So um, I didn't find any spoons though. And this is the only kind I really like the Dollar Tree sales because these are nice size and they're strong and sturdy. And those are forks, by the way. And then y'all, I love these. I remember watching uh, a vlog, I think it was all of Destiny, Destiny Chalmers, and I think she might've been at Target. She saw these at Target and then she saw them at Dollar Tree and she was like, oh no, I won't buy them there again. So if they sell these at Target, I don't know how much they are. We're talking $1.25 y'all at uh, Dollar Tree. And these are floss sticks. Y'all, I'm sitting on my walker because <laughs> I am just beat. So this is the rest of my Dollar Tree haul. So you all know that I always look and see what they got reduced. Um, they have these little baby butt cakes for 75 cents. So I got the last that were left, which was like five. So 
And then I got each one of these for the baby grands. Each of them, these were like marshmallow flowers or something. So I got each one of them bagged. And then y'all, um, you know, I'm gonna usher my church. I won't be ushering again for a while until I'm 100%. But I said that I was going to get uh, something to keep the children busy. You know, we don't have a children's church and we do have not a lot, but we have a few smaller children. And you know, y'all, it's hard to keep them quiet. You know, train up a child the way they should go. And um, they're really good in church, but anything can busy. So I said what I was gonna do is I was gonna buy some crayons and some coloring books. I bought this. I'm gonna put on here, please return to ushers. And I'm gonna put crayons in here. And I did get a little box of crayons. And I'm gonna put the crayons in there. And then I did get on some coloring books. And so I just got two for now because I'm going to see how it goes over before I buy any more. But two to start with. And then y'all, back scratcher. I don't like, my husband's got the wooden ones and then the metal ones. This is a plastic one. And I cannot wait. And right now, y'all, it feels better than if you were going to use the wood or the metal. And so, yes, this was definitely a need, a back scratcher. And I believe that is it for my Dollar Tree haul to work on this Walmart haul, y'all. Um, they had grapes. Not a ter terrific price, but we haven't had any red grapes yet, so I'm going to um, so I'm going to wash these y'all and get them back up. Um, the steamer was the one thing I really went to Walmart for. Y'all, this was, I think, $21. And again, I don't know what it costs to have closed Preston's dry cleaners. I don't know if it's $15, $20. But I figure, you know what? I can steam my own clothes and save that money. And if I like the way it works, then if I get things that need to be ironed or pressed, I'll just steam it. Because those ironing days are gone. I just, mm -mm. I did so much ironing when my children were little. Y'all, we would go on vacations and I would iron, get their clothes ironed and, and packed in the suitcase. I don't know how many of you all did that, but I did it. Um, and so I don't iron anymore. But these uh, baby brands are learning how to iron. So anyway, I've got these again. Good, these snacks for baby brands. You know, they always want to know what I got. So I've uh, got a little something for them to eat. And then, you know, I don't even know. Now, I purchased some of this at Sam's a couple weeks back. And it's already sliced up. It's like $6 and change. I forget how many pounds it is. But um, I didn't know Walmart had these. And so what I did is I tried, sliced up some... Um, summer sausage and some cheese and I put it in a Tupperware with um, parchment paper and that way if the kids wanted meat and cheese for a snack they can just go in there take out the Tupperware open it up and get them some meat and cheese and then I got some Ritz crackers over there and so I said that's already sliced so it'll save me the work for now and uh, I grabbed them in y'all this was something I definitely had to get this I thought I was going to color my hair today but I think I'm just going to color it tomorrow and if I feel up to it, I might vlog it. So he's anemic, so he has to take iron every day. Y'all, I was supposed to get this weeks back when my grand granddaughter and I did that Walmart haul. And you all took you all along with me. And all of the generic version of fluticasone, which this is generic fluticasone, which is a steroid nose spray for allergies, all gone. And I actually got this one today. So now I can actually start taking care of my sinuses. And then of course, y'all, y'all know, we use a lot of paper plates in this house. And we were almost out, and I don't like to run out. Cause I'm not washing no dishes straight up, honey. Them grandbabies is gonna wash them dishes. I'm not going to. Tried these for the first time when we had ordered grocery from Walmart, and they went fast, y'all. See, just goes to if it's generic. And see, I've always bought the big boxes that you get like at Costco of like the Frito-Lay and things, but honey, I bought this, and I'm telling you, it went faster than the, than the baked Lay's that we got in the Frito Lay. So, um, this is my sacks. I hope I didn't leave it in the car. If I did, it wouldn't surprise me. It's probably in the car. Um, you guys have seen me uh, talk about those before. You know, Walmart sells roasted chickens, and they'll mark them down. Well, I buy them, put them in my freezer because they're good if you want to make like a chicken enchilada, uh, a chicken noodle casserole, uh, even just. Thaw it out, slice it up, and put barbecue sauce on it. Bam, instant barbecue chicken. So I hope they're not in the car, but I'm going to go check. Anyway, y'all, that is it for now. Thanks for tagging along with me today. 
Once again, I appreciate all of you who have subscribed to my channel. We're trying to get that 100, y'all. I mean, it's a, it's a milestone because I honestly didn't think I would be this close to 100 this soon. And um, But anyway, I appreciate uh, you guys tagging along with me. It might have been a little boring. I'm sorry about that. But hey, I do spend a lot of time in and out of doctor's offices and doctor appointments. But we did get to have a little fun. You know, we got a chance to go to Dollar Tree and Walmart. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to Always a G Mama. And G Mama C is out.